This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. We're parked up here for the night. Um, seven o'clock in the morning now, and um, we're just doing some daily checks, ready to crack on. We're, uh, we're near Dartford. I think this is what I call Swan Lane. It's not actually Swan Lane. I think it's one of the roads around the corner. But um, I've parked here many, many times. Very long, long, long road. But um, it's a good one to park at. We parked here last night about five o'clock because we couldn't get to Basildon in time. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> now we're going to continue on. Yeah, all looking good with the truck. We've got this on, we've got 24 bolt bags and one pallet. We've got one pallet on the back end. Um, I think we've got five play bark, some topsoil, and then, yeah, this little one pallet on the back. So that's coming off at, um, at Bazardin. It's going to PGR Building Supplies. Okay, checks are done. Turn the hazard lights off. Probably don't need my main lights on either because it's quite light out now. So yes, we're gonna crack on. I did make my bed, but this, the duvet just make it makes it look like it's, I mean, in real life, it doesn't even look that bad. <laughs> it's just like the slightest crease. It just looks really bad, but it is, it is made. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna crack on. They said don't turn up for eight o'clock. If we leave now, we're gonna be there bang on eight o'clock pretty much. So let's crack on, I'll see you there. Okay, we are in Basildon. And um, we're just around the corner now from our first delivery of the video. Um, so like I said, we've got one pallet and 24 bolt bags, I think. Um, it's one of those sites where they tip you one side and then either you spin round and do the other side or you move on over. I have been to this one before, but um, not for a while. There's not an awful lot of room, especially if there's any other trucks there, <laughs> um, which there could be. There could be other, site, um, other trucks there. I used to deliver all that sort of stuff on tarmac machinery, didn't I? On the low loader work a few years ago. So yes, let's get this one off here in Basildon and then from here we've got to go to uh, Tilbury Docks and um, get loaded with Pavestone to go to Chip Camden and then we've got to get loaded for Carmarthen. Uh, I don't think you're going to see the Carmarthen in this video, maybe in the next one, um, but not in this one. Whilst at Tilbury Docks, I'm also probably going to go and get my truck washed. Go take it through the truck wash if I can. We'll see how busy they are. Hoping for a quick tip. The quicker the uh, they tip us, the quicker we'll uh, basically finish work today. Out of all the places, I think this is most likely going to be the one that takes the longest in terms of loading or delivering. So the quicker the better. It's, they've only got half load to take off, so it shouldn't take too long. But it's the messing around, swapping over, moving things around, spinning around. Um, that can add up and can take a bit of time to do. So we might be here for an hour, but fingers crossed we're not. Hopefully we can get tips straight away. Shout out to Trucker Will. It's a high ab life. Um, he, he gave me a couple of locations to park up on uh, last night. But I decided, I actually, I was on my way to Basildon yesterday. I got to Dartford and because um, I've done a delivery in um, Peckham in London so I come out to Dartford and it's just traffic everywhere which is why I ended up just stopping where I was I, I just could not be a, be bothered to sit in traffic for like <laughs> god knows how long it was at least half an hour's worth of delays so I thought nah I'll just park up now and do it in the morning because I was only sort of 45 minutes away it's a green light mate why aren't we going right we're going to take a left here and then another left and then we are there Probably where, <laughs> probably where the van's going. Lovely jubbly. And then turn left down here. Oh, yeah, I told you is where the van's going, didn't I? It's a bit sharp. Right, there is a van parked exactly where I want to be. To say there's a bit snug down here. Someone in my last video said I need a snug counter. That van is 
going especially to where I am, look. That's where I need to be there. The van can get past me. I'm thinking the van can get past me here. I'm hoping. Can you get past me? If you can get past me, I'll leave you out, yeah. That's two, that's a van that's got past me both front and back. It is very tight. We need to go see someone, see what they say, and um, get it off. But yeah, I literally need to be right there where these two vans are. So let's go speak to someone, see if they can get them moved. Right, we are being offloaded now. We're sorting out the ears. The net's off, straps are off. We're all gravy, baby. So yeah, we've got to move on over. So yeah, once we're uh, once this side's been tipped, we'll move over to this side and so then we can do the other side. There is also a truck over there ready to come on in. So the sooner we are uh, tipped, the better. It was a little bit busy when we first arrived and uh, that lorry driver definitely thought he was going to get tipped straight away. <laughs> um, but no, mate, you, you turned up up already, so you get tipped after me. Um, once we move over to this side and that side is tipped, we then sort of turn around right, I think reverse back and then come back out this way. Hopefully when we turn right, that lorry then comes down here, we then go back and then we can come out. That's the plan. Slowly getting there. What's that? Six, seven more bags to go this side and then we can move on over. Okay, I've just had a look on the Google Maps and actually I don't need to spin around and come back the other way. Yeah, rather than turning right, reverse back where he is and coming down here, I can just turn right and carry on, goes down. I remember now the last time I done that, I saw a Type R down there. Yeah, I remember because I just bought my first Type R and um, I saw that one round there and it made me excited. Okay, we are now on the other side of the road. We was here, now we are here. <laughs> so we're getting the last bits off now. Still need to make that right hand turn. I think it's gonna be a bit snug with the back end. With the, There's a van sort of parked here on the left. He's in there, but he's just staying there. Just a little bit awkward because as I turn right, the trailer swing will kick out and I won't be able to see him. Um, so I'm hoping he moves. If not, then um, I'll probably ask him if he can to see what he says. Right, so we are tipped. Let's get the engine on. Okay, right. Let's see if we can get around without it in this van. Should be right. Yeah, should be. You will arrive at your destination at 9:04. Yeah, we're good. I said it's a bit blind. You can't really see, but we did it. That lorry's gone back, thinking that I'm uh, wanting to go behind backwards, but I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I definitely don't. Yeah, I remember seeing a Type R around here somewhere last time I come down here, but it must have been like at least a year ago. Off chances of seeing it again are very slim, I guess. Mustang, nice. Oh, it's a bit snug around here. Yeah, loads of room. I thought we could. I'm pretty sure I came out this way last time. Say he's messing around and reverse reversing stuff back there. Probably a little bit quicker as well. Clear to the left, clear to the right, let's go. Go, 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 mid lift up. You can feel when your mid lift's down because you start spinning a bit more. <laughs> so lift up. Anyway, yes, we're going to head to Tilbury Docks now. We should be there just after nine o'clock. Um, like I said, I might get the truck washed while I'm there as well. We'll see, might treat, might treat the truck. I'm only in it for another week and a half, but I'd rather give it back clean, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, we'll probably put it for the wash. Green light, let's go, 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 go. Lovely. Green light. Green light. Now we'll go down here. Anyway, a couple of videos ago, you may remember I, I hit the truck onto a gate. And uh, do, do you know what? It sounded so much more worse than it actually was. When I listened back to it and watched it, I was like, oof. Like, at the time, in person, all it did was just push, push my mirror backwards. That's all it did. But when you listen back to it, it sounds like the mirror snapped off. It sounds like the gate got crunched. Like, it sounded really bad. 
but I promise you, there was one person who said, oh, I've left it without reporting it damaged or something. Um, I promise you, there was no damage to the gate. I was there, I was right next to it. Within 30, 60 centimetres, there was no damage to the gate. Could it have been disaligned? Yeah, maybe, but unlikely, seeing as it's my mirror that gave way, not the gate. Um, and also, they said that I walked off without reporting it. Well, I didn't, because I was being watched back, and the person watching me back saw it happen. So, it wasn't unreported, because someone saw it, <laughs> a member of staff. So, yeah, it's just... Um, there was no damage to the gate. So yeah, basically there was, there was no damage to the gate, not that I knew of, and uh, if you're that concerned, give them a call and uh, ask them yourself. <laughs> right, we're gonna crack on to Tilbury Docks. I will see you when we're there, see you in a bit. Okay, we just turned up at Tilbury Docks. We're in line now to be loaded. We've got our paperwork, we are going to Trip and Camden. Um, so no surprises there. We got 15, 25, we've got 25 pallets going on. So that's good, happy days. Right, we're getting there. Just turn the engine on to build the air up because the suspension was all the way down. A few more to go. And then um, that'll be us done then. Go get the truck washed. I was gonna go get it washed before we got loaded, but um, I could see there was a queue at the truck wash and no queue in here. So I thought I'd do it this way around and so he's hanging around then, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, paperwork is in our hands. That is us now loaded. Here we go. Let's crack on. I'm gonna go get the truck washed. Oh yeah, well, someone said um, regarding that mirror that I hit with the gate, someone said, oh, did I deliberately not show the mirror afterwards? The mirror's fine. It's still dirty. In fact, it probably hit there where that mark is. But yeah, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Actually, I just thought, no, it wouldn't have hit there. That was already there because it hit this side. <laughs> and then it pushed back, so yeah, there's, there's no damage. Anyway, let's jump in. Let's go get the truck washed. No, not yet. Gotta go pay now. Right, loyalty card, we paid. Let's go. We're now in the truck wash, getting it washed. We've gone for the alley bright as well, so hopefully make the alloys a bit brighter. Never tried that before from here, so that'd be a first for me. Um, on the way up to Chip and Camden, we do need to stop for 45 minute break because we've not had one yet. Um, so how much drive time have we done actually? We're on we're on an hour and 12 minutes, so we've got, we got a three. Actually, we might be able to get there in one go. It's a three hour drive up to Chip and Camden. So, okay, so we might make Chip and Camden and have a 45 minute break there once we're tipped. Because there's loads of, loads of uh, space there to, uh, to have a break. So we'll try and get up in one go, hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll try and do that. And then from there, once we tip to Chip and Camden, we've got to go to um, WRC near Chip in Swindon. Not Chip in Swindon, but just past it. And then we've got to get loaded with um, floor mats to go, to go somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I said I don't know. I do. It's, it's Carmarthen. I remember now. I said earlier it's Carmarthen. <laughs> so that's uh, that's the plan for later on today. Yeah, baby. Yeah, you clean those mirrors. My supposedly damaged mirror. <laughs> it's not damaged. It's fine. Right, that is the wash done. We are heading out. Got another truck heading out simultaneously with us on the right hand side, look. So we kind of got to wait for him to go before we can. He's obviously waiting to get out as well. Lovely, 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 lovely. Let's get that aircon on, it's really warm in here with the windows up. We're clear. So, truck's had a little wash, so uh, that's good. Time to air dry it. <laughs> so, that lorry that came out of the wash with us is a pavestone lorry. He's still in front. I wonder if he's going to be turning right to get loaded with pavestone, like we just have. 
because it did say on the back ship in Camden, so that's where he's based. So I would guess that he is going to get loaded and go back there as well. Yeah, he's turning right. He's getting loaded as well. So we're probably going to see him at Chipping uh, Camden later, this, this lorry here. Registration ZMU. I'm going to try and remember that. Registration ended in ZMU. I shall see you later in Chipping Camden. It's a Mercedes as well. Um, like I said, I need to stop for a break. So actually, he might get there before me. I don't know. Depends if he needs to stop as well. Ooh. He's been pulled by the popo, potentially. Out we go. Give him the security paperwork to say that we have uh, can go. You all right, mate? All right. Yeah, not bad. Thank Lovely, thank you. Have a good day. We're good to go, baby. So, yeah, ugh, not including traffic. It's a three-hour drive. It depends... Um, how the M25 is. Just recently, every time I want to use the M25, it's, it's been broken. <laughs> so hopefully it's quite a lot quieter today. We'll go anti-clockwise around the M25 um, up until the M40. I think it's the M40, yeah. And then we'll go that way up towards Oxford and then Burford and go that way. That's the way we're going to go. Bit of a drive ahead of us, but um, yeah, no, it's all right. We should be there about one o'clock have a break when we're there and then hopefully then we'll be in um, Swindon for like half past two-ish something like that that's the aim that's the aim anyway I shall see you when we are in Chippen Camden in about three hours time see you in a bit okay this is the part of the video where we talk about the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green I promise you if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills the essential new truckers handbook by Malcolm Green link in the description down below go buy yourself a copy now okay we're here we just made it literally on 429 <laughs> That was another thing. Someone said, if you go on 429, you are having an infringement. N no. No. And even if you go to 430, it's not an infringement. Uh, you're allowed to do four hours, 30 minutes of driving. If you're on four hours and 30 minutes of driving, when you stop, that's legal. Regardless of seconds, it don't count seconds. Right, let's uh, send you all these straps. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Honestly, I love this thing. Makes my life so much easier. Right, ratchets are off, straps are off. We're just waiting to be unloaded now. We've been here like 10 minutes already. No one's even come over to us yet, so I'm now going to take a wander, see if we can get someone to come over to us. Right, good news. Uh, it took so long for anyone to actually come over and start, I think they were on lunch, um, that we've actually got our 30 minute break in ourselves. So um, yeah, we took the straps off, jumped in the truck, waited half an hour. It was actually, it took 35 minutes and then someone come out to me and um, now they're starting to be unloaded. So we've got our break in, which is good. It means from here we can go straight to Swindon. We've got to go to um, Blaygrove Industrial Estate. WRC is where we're going and getting loaded with like floor mats that's gonna go on a site um, in Carmarthen. So yes, we are now currently being unloaded, tipped, and uh, from here we'll uh, we'll make our way back to Swindon. Ah, lovely. Thank you, mate. Cheers, buddy. Right, we're done. Let's get out of here. Let's go, 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 go. 
If we're lucky, I reckon we get loaded and get back to the yard by five o'clock, if we're lucky, which will be very nice. That is what I am hoping we can achieve. If not, then don't worry about it. I'm not, I spoke to Kieran earlier, and because um, he was saying that I might need to make the way to Carmarthen tonight if I need the driving time. But um, I think it'd just be a case of leaving in the morning. And I, um, I probably will film it um, in a different video, I think, for tomorrow. Normally when, um, I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter so I can like, it's, it's quicker to edit then and I can upload more. Whereas if they're like 45 minutes, an hour long, over a day and a half or a couple of days, it just takes a lot longer to edit. So that's why I try to stay, at the moment, I'm trying to stay just filming one day. That is one video. The next day will be the next video, even if it does just follow on. So that's what I'm trying to do, so. Uh, I reckon I will film Carmarthen, but it will be in the next video. The next video. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the aircon down now. It's a bit loud. I'm going to crack on to Swindon now. We should be there. Uh, half three-ish, something like that. So, um, yeah, let's go there and uh, let's go get loaded. I'll see you in a bit. Right, they are slowly going on. We're going three eye on the front, uh, three eye in the middle, and two on the back. So what I'm going to do is put two straps over the first two, then put one more on and put another two straps on. That's going to secure it all. Um, I might actually move that strap over to the right a bit. So yeah, again, two straps over here. Then they put another one on. I'll put two straps on the top one as well. And then on the back, just two straps should do that fine. So yeah, it goes from looking like this to looking like this. So fully loaded. We're just waiting for paperwork details. So yeah, four over there, four over there, four over there. And then just two on the back. I think uh, that's sufficient. That's how I'm going to do it. We'll see, uh, see what it's like on the way back to the yard and go from there. Right, he doesn't have any details yet, so I'll go in my phone number and he can send me a text tonight. All I know is come up and... <laughs> so, once again, there we go, there's the load. There's the truck. We'll jump in her and we'll uh, crack on back to the yard. <clears throat> that is a lot for, for up. A lot longer than I thought it was going to take to get there. That's saying five hours. I was not expecting it to take that long. That is going to mean if I go home tonight, a very, very early start in the morning. When he messages me with the um, address details, I will just double check what time they want it on site. Because <laughs> the later, the better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they want it on site like 7 a.m., that's like a 2 a.m. start. <laughs> I am in two minds right now. Part of me is thinking I should just push on for a couple of hours. Right, I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes or so deliberating <laughs> as to whether or not I am going back to the yard or cracking on or not. Either way, I've got to pass the yard because we're going to go up Birdlip, or down Birdlip, I should say, but it's up north that way, via the M5, past Birmingham, Telford, that sort of area. Um, so we've got to go on the M4, come off at 16, no, sorry, 15, to, um, to go that way anyway, so. Yes. I'm going to have a little think. I'll see you in a bit. Right, I decided to go back to the yard. <laughs> I would have actually, I think, have stayed out if it was going to where I thought it was going temporarily. So it turns out there's Carmarthen and then there's another place which, to me, is the same. <laughs> but it's like Carnarvon or something. So there's Carmarthen and Carnarvon. And I just used voice to text into Google to, and said Carmarthen. And that's what come up. So I just put that random postcode in. Um, 
so I knew roughly how long it was going to take to get there. It was saying five hours. So I phoned Karen up. I was like, five hours is quite far up, mate, so I might head up there tonight. He was like, it's not that far. I was like, well, that's what he's saying on here. So he goes, well, unless I've got it wrong. <laughs> so he had to make a phone call uh, to find out where I was going. It's going to Carmarthen, West Wales, <laughs> not North Wales. Um, so yes, it's down on the M4, sort of past Swansea and Cardiff and all that. So it's not what I said earlier about going north up past Birmingham at all, because it's not North Wales, it's West Wales. So on that basis, because it's only then going to take three hours to get there, not five, um, I am just going to leave early in the morning. We're probably talking... If I get in the yard for about four o'clock, should be about right. We've got to stop for fuel on the way as well. And, um, yes, yeah, so we'll aim to be in the yard for about quarter past four, twenty past four, something like that. Leave around half past four and then... Um, Go get fuel and crack on to Carmarthen, West Wales. <laughs> if I remembered, I put the two spellings up. So, yeah, someone tell me how you pronounce them because they look, to me, they are spelled differently, but they're kind of pronounced the same in English. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's a bit of confusion there, but yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. So, yeah, we are going to pop back to the yard and that is going to be us done for the day. Ah, lovely day, 22 and a half degrees, not too hot, not too cold. Lovely day, lovely weather. We are unfortunately on the way home going to be hit and rush hour traffic. Um, bit frustrating, but I should be home by about half past five this afternoon, so it's not too bad. That's when the wife finishes work as well. So it's all going to be dandy. Should be a pretty good timing actually, so yeah. That's good. Let's get the old barrier open and then we can go on in, park up and crack on. 2021. 2021, if we left now. So it's actually saying there's a bit of traffic, so it's saying three hours, 25 minutes. I'm hoping in the morning I'll dip down to three and then we'll, uh, we'll aim to be there by eight o'clock in the morning. If I can be bothered to film, then that will be on the next video. Shutter is down, so no one's in, I don't think. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've got no idea how long it is. Like I said, I'm trying to get them down to about half an hour in length. So apologies if it's gone over a little bit. I don't know. I've got no idea. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will probably see you in Carmarthen tomorrow in the next video. Uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.